Hello everybody, I hope your day was awesome! As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add transparency or show skin on a Roblox short or pants. Now, I didn't want to make a tutorial where I had to make you guys download anything, but I'm afraid you do have to download some sort of Photoshop software in order to do this. For this one, I'm going to have you guys download GIMP, which is actually a really good software. It's completely free. It's basically a free, good Photoshop. You obviously don't have as many features as you would in actual Photoshop. It is still really good for it being free. I've used it for all of my recent thumbnails, and yeah, it's just a really good software. I have the download link for it in the top of the description. Here it is. You can download it from Mac and Windows. All you have to do is click one of these depending on what computer you have. I have a Windows so I would click the Windows download. Um, I already have it so I'm not going to do it but all you have to do is just click on this. It would download the installer down here and then you'd click it and it'd open up and then you'd go through this installer. You'd have to agree to the terms and service and everything like that but yeah that's all you have to do. Depending on how fast your computer is it take about 20 minutes but yeah it, trust me it's worth it. Now when you have it downloaded you're going to go over to Roblox and get your shirt template which you're going to click develop in case some of you guys forgot. You're going to click shirts or pants depending on what you want to make. Click the link for the template. It'll open up in a new tab. You right click it on your mouse. Save image as. I'm going to save it to my desktop just so it's easier to get to and just for tutorial purposes. As you can see, it's saved, so now what you're going to want to do is open up Jim. Usually it doesn't take too long. See, it's already open. Now what you're going to want to do is drag and drop the shirt template onto here. Or you could click File and open it and just go over to wherever you saved it to and upload it like that way. But cool thing about this is it's already made the, the right size and everything it needs to be, so yeah. In case some of you don't really know how the shirts work too much, have you ever made those boxes in school where they print out this little sheet of paper, you'd cut it out and then you'd fold it and tape it and make it into a little box? That's how the shirts work in Roblox. You fold all these together, this would be the torso. And then all these will be the arms, so... Meaning, if you want to make a shirt like this, as you can see on screen, where you can see the little hands and stuff like that, you need to add transparent to these bottom ones all across here. Which actually isn't too hard. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. So yeah, let's get going. First thing you're going to want to do is add a transparent new layer, which you can click this little button. Make sure it's under transparency. You click OK. And you're going to drag and drop it under the shirt template, and then you click the shirt template again. Right-click it. Merge visible layer, which makes it its own layer, so if you erase it, you could see the transparency under it, which is the most important thing in doing this. Control Z to undo, and yeah, let's get going. First thing you want to do is click the rectangle selection tool, hold control on your keyboard, and scroll in so you can zoom in. You can move this out of the way a little bit if you need to. And yeah, so you're going to want to zoom in, and click the corner for these, and... Just so you have a better view, make sure you don't go over, otherwise you have problems uploading it. But yeah, I think that's about good. What you want to do is right click, edit, cut, or you could use the erase tool and just color over it. Same thing. But yeah, I think that's about good. Next, we need to make sure it's the same thing for every single one. What I do is make it easy is I select this little area above the transparency, press Control C to copy, and then Control V. You could also do the same thing on a file you know, copy, paste, whatever. Drag and drop it over to this area and make sure it's on the same area. Scroll in a bit and make sure you can see it. Make sure it's like not over the lines or anything. Otherwise you'll have problems uploading it, but yeah. Now you don't have to do this. You could obviously just do the same thing with the rectangle tool, but just, just do it like this. But I don't know, I think for me, it's just a little bit easier doing it this way. So yeah. So you do the same thing for your wood for this area. Do the box. And you stop it at about here, where it stops above here. Deselect the top part by clicking this little tool, clicking off the canvas. And as you can see, it selected this area, so right click, edit, cut. Or you could use the erase tool, which I'm going to use for this one. See, there we go. I'm going to skip ahead and show you guys what it's going to look like when you're all done. And this is what it should look like. Make sure you delete these two in the bottom, because when you fold it together, this is the top. And this is the bottom, meaning this will be the bottom of the hand, so you're going to want to delete that. Same thing for this side. Cut it. Now, of course, you could add a lot more detail. Let's say you want to make the shirt black. You just select the bucket paint tool. You just bucket paint over the colors. As you can see, it missed them over here, which means my th threshold wasn't high enough when I was selecting, which is no big deal. You can select this. Bucket paint that black. There's some more on the bottom of stuff like that. But yeah, get rid of the text. You could just color over that with the paintbrush tool. Same thing to the back, simple as that. And of course, you could add a lot more detail to it. Um, I'm not going to go over that for this video, because this one's just basic, how to add the transparency and everything like that. So yeah, yeah from here, you could do anything you want. I'm just going to leave it like this. Like I said, you can add more detail by adding text and putting whatever you want, like, let's say, I'm cool. 
Let me make that white so you can see it. So now you have your text saying, I'm cool. You can make it bigger by scrolling while selecting it. You can change your font by doing whatever you want. Um, you could upload your own font by, the, if you download a font you want, like over the internet, like let's say on the font, you could upload it and drag it to your fonts folder, which I can go over in another video if you'd like me to in the detail video. Um, again, if you want to see that, and you could change your font and everything like that. Make it bolder, whatever you want. So yeah. So yeah, I think that's it, guys. Now from here, all you need to do is export it. Which reminds me, I forgot to tell you guys that make sure you save your template when you're making it, because just in case your computer crashes or gym crashes, then you'd have a backup and... Let's say you upload your shirt and you didn't like it or something like that. You can go back in and change it however you want. You can do that by clicking File, Save As, but I'm not going to really do this because this is just for the tutorial. But yeah, to export, you click File, Export As. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to name it Shirt Test. And you click Export. And then Export again. Here we go. Here it is. Let's go over to Roblox and upload it. Now, of course, to upload it, you click this little button saying Choose File. You go over to the picture that we exported, you double click on it, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at shirt test, and then you click upload. Now that it said the shirt successfully created, it's going to be pending for a while, meaning Roblox needs to approve it to make sure there's nothing bad on it or something like that. Now normally this process only happens for a couple hours for me, depending on how big the shirt is or something like that, then you need to approve it, so it could take up even up to a day or two, so yeah. Expect that. Yeah, and for those who saw my shirt tutorial video, before I didn't have Builders Club, but I bought BC just for this little tutorial because I wanted to show you guys what it would be like uploading it and actually going into the game and you wearing the shirt just to show you guys what it looks like, of course. So yeah, now we just wait until it gets approved. Now, as you can see, everybody, here's the uploaded shirt. As you can see, it went absolutely perfect. In all the areas, there was transparency. You could see my skin through it. So yeah, if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or any feedback, or like, let's say you have a tutorial video idea, please let me know below. I respond to every single comment I get. Other than like hate comments, of course. But yeah, again, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, again, leave a like and thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Peace out.